the fall of WeWork, cracks in the property market. Since its founding in 2010, WeWork has never turned a profit. Its flamboyant founder, Adam Newman, convinced investors that it was a tech firm rather than an office rental business. In 2019, Neumann was offered $1.7 billion to leave. Sandeep Mathrani took over as CEO and tried to cut costs and renegotiate leases. In 2021, WeWork listed on the NYSE at a valuation of $9 billion. However, the pandemic and remote working led to a slump in the office market. And on November 6, WeWork filed for bankruptcy. WeWork is not the only property business in turmoil. Cigna faces a liquidity crunch and has brought in an insolvency expert to take the reins. WeWork and Cigna relied on risky bets that went sour in a world of higher interest rates and slumping property markets. WeWork has gained backing from most of its creditors to convert its $3 billion debt into equity, giving it a fresh start. WeWork's new CEO, David Tolley, believes the company will remain in bankruptcy for less than seven months. The fall of WeWork and the turmoil in the property market highlight the risks of risky bets and unorthodox business models. Market News Short Nap Suite. 